and today I'm going to show you what I've been doing with my diamond painting. I haven't showed you but one time. I didn't want to bore people too much over it and it's hard for me to do it because I have an injury so in my arm so um yeah it's part of the part of the neck problem. So anyways um yeah so I thought I'd, I'd catch you up a little bit. I have done some here and there and you know, I've been taking my time, but, um, yeah, so I thought I'd bring you along while I do a, a bit tonight, and, um, yeah, I'll tell you, tell you what we've been up to, and, because I haven't really filmed too much, um, there's a reason for that, so, but we'll get to that, and, um, yeah, so, here we go, so I'm going to show you what I've done, the progress I have made, I'm going to bring you up closer so you can see it. Do I like doing this? Yeah, it's fun. It is fun. Um, it's just so it's hard when your your arm is not doing what it's supposed to. They tell me I have a frozen arm. So, um, yeah, I was supposed to have surgery tomorrow, but it was canceled. So, I don't know when I'm going to be able to have surgery. So, um, yeah. So, that's about all I can tell y'all. It's all under lawyers and stuff, so, um, yeah. So, otherwise, you know, I, I'm going to do the F ones today. I did all these yellow ones the other day. That's part of the flowers and stuff. I think it's pretty cool. I got all this up here done that you can see. I hopefully you can see all that. Let me bring you up a little bit more. I said... I think I got you guys too tight where I can, and there, so you can kind of see the, the detail and stuff. Yeah, It's not perfect. I mean, you know, I'm doing this with a, a bad arm, and also, you know, they're not as easy as you think. <laughs> it's very time consuming. You have to take your time, and, you know, this is not something you should be rushing. Now... You're supposed to keep them nice and lined up, nice and even. Well, as you can see, mine are not all even. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of pushing them here and there when I put the other colors in. So, to me, um, I'm doing what I can. So, today we are going to focus on down here. All in here. Okay? This is F, which is number 17 on this one. And I'll do a little bit and show you, and then I'll turn you off, and then I'll come back after I, sh I, I have seen. I don't want you to be on the whole time only, because I think people get bored, and they don't want to see every little step. They just want to see part of it here and there. And that's what I'm doing, is just trying to kind of bring you here and there to um, give you an update on what I've been doing, and if there's anything else going on. So, so we will we're going to do I do like I already got the wax on I put the wax on on here can you see I don't know if you guys can see anyways I'm using a three because I have a lot of F's here and I can do three at a time and then I have this little pipe one can you see that one I like this one the best I really like this one it's curved and it makes it easier to get in there and do one at a time Instead of the straight one, there's a straight pipe here. And let's see. Oops, I just lost the straight pipe. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's going on the floor. Anyways, um, the straight pipe is okay, but it's not as effective as um, the other one. So, wherever it went, I lost it. I'll have to get up and look for it. I think it bounced underneath the table. So, anyways, I'm not going to use that one right in a second, anyway. So, I got all my beads in here. I Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me see. You can see my beads. You're kind of getting a shadow here, I think. I don't want to spill them. There. I think you guys can see. There you go. Can you see them? There. There you go. You can see them there. 
So I just put them in here and I shake them up. Now I'm going to tell you a couple of things here. I had been working on this and I think I was doing these pink ones up here, up in here. Anyways, I thought I would take a break and I was going to, um, you know, just to leave it out. I left it out in the pan and I was just like, well, I'll get back to this in a little bit and I never got back to it. So these were all sitting over here in this corner right here. I'll show you. Let me back you up a bit so you guys can see. Now I had you down in here. Can you see that little doodad right here? Yeah. And, um, yeah. So, I don't know what happened, but Bruno got underneath the kitchen table here. Where that's where I'm at. I don't have an office. My mother is in my office. So, um, yeah. So, for some reason, he got tangled up in the wire here for the, for the screen. And, um everything went tumbling down onto the floor and all the beads fell so my advice if if you don't have an office where you can just lock it up where animals and kids can't get at your stuff i would advise to put it away so yeah i had all these beads everywhere they're all over the floor i still got some down here and um so i'm like how am i going to pick these up and Shaver was like, well, why don't you use some tape and roll it up and, and push down on it and pick them up with the tape. And I'll tell you what, that was a great idea because it really helped. I am on tile. I don't have carpet. So it really worked really, really good. So if you have that problem, you ever have it happen to you, like I did, I got a little fly gnat or something flying around. And... Um, you know, it's a good a good idea. It did work, and it was quick. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, because I had quite a few. I had a lot in the tray, because I intended to come back. It's just as much as pretty much as what I got right now. So, um, yeah, when they all ended up on the floor, I was like, oh, my God, how many are missing, you know? And I still, I still don't know how many are missing. Um, I think I pretty much got them. And I have a few left over. Not too much because, see that one? Some of these, um, can, these little bags here, these little things here, I'm trying to show you. I don't know where you are. Oh, there you are. And some of these right here, I'll have to lighten it up because I would swear I have you guys. That's why it's dark. Um, I'll lighten up in editing. Try to. So, there, right there. So, um... Some of these are not as full as others. Like you can see this one right here. Maybe it's got more than others. And see that was the one that I lost a lot in. So I hope that there's plenty of these. And I'm not sure of how many they give you left over or whatever. Because I haven't finished any of them. So um, yeah. So hopefully I got what I needed and have plenty. Um, just just wanted you guys to know because I mean it could happen to anybody and it wasn't really Bruno's fault I shouldn't have left it out but I mean when you have no kids and there's only adults in the house you don't think that anything's gonna really happen <laughs> you know so but that's when it happens it's when you when you think it's not gonna happen so yeah because I I was not happy about that so Anyways, that was one of the bad things about what happened with this, but, I mean, it happens, so, um, but, uh, let me see here, I'm getting my three. These are three at a time, so you can just take them and put them in here, and you get three, see, that was so quick and easy. Yeah, and I'm going to bring you a little bit closer. Maybe you can see a little bit better. There you go. This is quite easy. It can, you know, anybody can do this, really. It's not that difficult. I think the difficult thing is trying to keep it in the line. Because even if you got it inside the number, see, if you look, this one's up higher a little bit. And it should be dead center. 
So every one of them is lined up really good, but you know, you're not going to do that. I'm not anyways. It's going to be what it is. <laughs> I guess as you go, you get better at it. Um, you know, I do like my board. I'm really quite happy with it. So if anybody's looking for a board for, for diamond painting, I suggest you get it from Timu. Um, yeah. The, the stand is a little bit cheap. I'm not too happy with the stand, but I love that I can see. I mean, if you have trouble seeing, this is a great thing. And you get to see the sparkles of it, you know. And it's just, I like it a lot. I mean, I'm quite happy with it, really. I mean, for what I pay for, you know, if I go to a craft store, I probably pay triple or even double or triple, you know. So, I mean, I don't want to pay, I don't want to put a lot of money into this. I mean, it's a project. I shouldn't have to put a bunch of money into a project. I mean, I'm not going to be selling these. These are just for enjoyment. You know, I'm not no crafty person. I like to do crafts, but I'm just not into being a perfectionist at it. So, some people are. They're very talented. And, um, but I didn't create talents in, in my life. No. And my mom doesn't either. She don't have much talent either, so... I think a lot of it comes from hereditariness in your family. Yeah, my grandmother, she was a great sewer. She could sew. But she never taught me how to sew. You know? You should teach. If you have grandkids and stuff, I think you should teach them and pass it through the generations. I think it's kind of important. So, but not everybody thinks that. You know, some people like being the only one in the family that was really good at one thing and nobody else was. So, they don't want anybody else to know how they did it or, you know, didn't want to give them tips or anything. And then sometimes they just get too old and they're not able to do them anymore. And they don't, they can't teach you. So... I'm kind of doing the three, the three one, but I do can't always get the three, so I'm putting one in between there, as you can see. I'm doing these right here, and I'll just shake them, and you make sure the shiny side is up on these because they are flat. And if you get it on the other side, then you won't have the shininess when you when you're doing this. But you don't have to put a lot of money into this. You could just use the kit that they give you and that's it. But if you have trouble seeing, I, I got a magnifying glass too, but I haven't used a magnifying glass since I got this one, this board. I really think the board is a lot better. Um, I wish I would have done when I wouldn't have bought the magnifying glass, but I'll use it. I mean, believe me, I'm losing eyesight. It's getting older, so... Eventually, I'm going to need it for something. So, there we go. I'm just kind of showing you. If you hear that noise in the background, I have the air conditioner on. So, yeah, it has been getting a little bit better in Florida. It was in the 90s, low 90s today. <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me. It has, um, has been great in the um, evening. Um, trying to see where I want to put three. And, uh, say, so you get these three here, and then you kind of got to move them. I hopefully you guys can see that. Are you guys seeing that? Okay, there you are. Yeah, I kind of think you were down a little too low. Sorry. So, and then I kind of got to push it. So sometimes I use my fingernails just to kind of slide it over because they're the same number. And I'll just slide them over a little bit. Yeah, see. See how I got an F there? So I'm going to use the pipe. And I'm going to put one right there. 
And these are great. I really like this curved one better than any of them. Um, they do move around. They kind of twist a little bit. I don't know why. Um, these little things came with, I'll show you. These are like, like plastic washers or whatever. And, uh, there, I don't know if you guys can see that. Where are you? <laughs> I don't think I'm in. There you are. So I got these plastic things here. Yeah, you can see them now, I think. And I was like, what the heck are these for? What am I supposed to use them for? Well, what they're for is, is, let me see. I'm kind of not getting you in the camera right. What they're for is for these. You see on the side there, there's washers around the ring here and down here. There we go. And uh, that's what they're for. So when these wear out, you got some extra ones. So at first I thought maybe you put them on there to make it tighter because they do spin. I don't like, I don't like how they spin around because while you're trying to do something, they spin too much. I don't know if I could do something to make them not spin, but then you might have trouble getting them out. So I don't know. Anyway. Oops, I got a couple on the table here. You have to be very careful, I notice, um, when you're shaking it. Because if you don't, the, um, the, the beads will fall out of the, the little thing. So you want to kind of put them in there. And just, you just shake it lightly. You don't want to shake it real hard. That's what I don't want to do. So. And, uh, has anybody uh, have been doing this a while, got any tips or anything? That I'd be greatly appreciated on, on, on some tips. And, um, to make things easier, maybe. Um, I don't need to go real fast, you know, I have an injury, so, um, yeah, so it kind of is good for me to just take my time, and I get tired, my arm starts to hurt or whatever, I, I put it down, but it also is exercising my arm too, so hopefully that kind of is helping it in between, um, yeah, so, anyways, there we go. I'm just slightly doing a little bit at a time. Um, I think a lot of people have bought these and decided to try them. Um, I never even knew it was around, and it's been around a long time doing this diamond painting. So this one is for my mother. So I'm going to do this one for her. And, um, yeah. Oops, I'm sticking sticking to it. So, I was trying to just stay in one area at a time so then I didn't mess anything up but it doesn't work that way so I ended up just taking a number and, and I got tired of doing all this blue. I did so much of it. <laughs> So I'm kind of doing the color right now. So I'm going to do these F's. And I think after that I'll try to get up here. Because I need to get these all done in here. And um, and they're, they're all blues. Different types of blue. Light blue, dark blue, and all that. So, But I would like to get them done. And then that way I'm, I'm looking pretty good here. You know. I think it's coming along just fine. Uh, it was awful. <laughs> Bruno, I mean, Bruno don't, he's not a dog that hops on things or anything like that, so when it happened, it was just a pure accident. I know it was. So, but it was my own fault. I should have just put this stuff away. And then that way, when I had him on the floor, and I was like, well, if I sweep them up, it's going to be, they're all going to get real dirty. And, you know, so the tape thing really worked. That was the best way to handle it, I think. 
I had them all over. I still have a few there, but I said I just took so many and then I put them in there. And then I go down and get some more on the floor. So I even used my foot. I put the tape on the bottom of my foot and then I um, just taped them up. <laughs> and they stuck to the tape really good. Really, really good. Can you see? I'm trying to see. I'm all over here. Sorry. Kind of just going wherever. I don't know if you're seeing or so, yeah. But these are all F here, so I think this will be really pretty when it's all done. I just thought I'd do a little bit tonight. I don't do it every day. Some days I don't touch it or look at it at all. Um, you know, I just don't want to or whatever. I don't want to it to become a job, you know, and then it's not enjoyable. And I get busy, I have other things to do in life, too, so, you know, but I haven't put it away or anything completely, I just leave it on the table, but the beads itself need to go, and, uh, so, So we're already in September. Can't believe it. I had my birthday not long ago, so yeah, another year old, getting older by the moment here, like the rest of us. And before you know it, Christmas will be here. I decorated for fall. I don't usually do Halloween too much because we don't have that many kids. I have I haven't had that many kids, so I really don't do Halloween. But I'll put stuff up for fall a little bit to make it look folly and makes a nice feeling for fall. So, and, and it's got, they're still Halloween colors. So, yeah. Uh oh, yeah. So you're seeing. You're getting to see. And I'm just doing the F ones here. Now, see that one? I have to push it over a little bit. There we go. I'm just using my pipe one right now. I call it the pipe. I don't know what the names of these ones are, but that's what I call it. And, uh, just put them in there. One at a time. So I have to play with them sometimes. So, see, and this thing moves. That's the only bad thing. They, they need to put a better stand on these. And you could probably lay it down, but if I lay it down, then my neck is down, and it hurts my neck. So I like to have it up a little bit. So. That way I can see it better, I think. one at a time. I guess there's another hurricane out there, but it won't bother us. It's on the east east coast, so yeah, I don't think it's going to come towards us. Not that one. But it's a little active out there, but this is this is the time of year. There, it's like having you know snowstorms. Only we have hurricanes. And uh, the last one. You know, we didn't have no damage. We were kind of inland a little bit. Um, Crystal River did get hit, though, as you saw in Shaver 1000's uh, video. He kind of showed you a little bit, but we couldn't get in there because they had all the police all over the place, and they were blocking it so badly. So we haven't tried again since then. I'm sure we can get in there now, but um, I'm sure there's still a lot of damage over there that has to be fixed. That stuff doesn't happen overnight. Insurance people have to get involved and all that stuff. So, um, 
We'll try to get back over there. We're going to go camping this weekend. We're going to go where, where we go um, by the water so we can go fishing. So we're going to do that. And that will be fun. And uh, it's supposed to be a little bit cooler. Um, in the evenings, it's been down like in the 60s, 65, 68. Um, during the day, it's 85. Um, 90 but at least it's not in the hundreds anymore and I don't think we'll get any more hundreds I think that's over with until until the next summer so yeah I do have these F's here I have to shake this little thing every once in a while so the beads will be upright. Make it easier. So. And you can do this pretty fairly, you know, you even with the one, it moves along not too bad, I don't think. I mean the rate I'm going. <coughs> I'm not in a hurry. And I think a lot of people um, that are, do them on a regular basis get better and better at it, so you kind of move faster. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to get my drink here. Yeah. I did an eyes. I did these. These were eyes, and I missed one. And you sometimes you don't notice that you miss them until you have to put another color in there. And then you say, oh no, I missed one. So, that's why I wanted to do sections. And I was going to do one little section and then work my way down. But, as you can see, I've been doing beads down on the bottom too here. Yeah, so I've been doing these here and over here. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry. These here and here and so you know <clears throat> but yeah I want you to be able to see where I'm at there we go so anyways I do have Timu stuff coming um I wasn't going to do anything this month because I was supposed to have surgery yesterday like I told tomorrow like I told you um but it was cancelled so um I don't know when I'm going to have surgery now. I, I don't know. So, um, it's between the lawyers and stuff like that. So, it's not going the way I expected it was going to go. So, um, but I guess they know what they're doing. Oop, I'm messing one. This one kind of flipped over. And it was attached, so I don't know. And sometimes it'll come off while you're trying to do another one. And uh, I try to put it on there. Yeah, I just uh, sometimes I use my finger. It's just easier. It seems to be. I'm trying to play with this little thing here. So I do have team new stuff coming. It should be here at the end of the week or at the beginning of next week. I'll do a video on it. Um, I'm not going to do a, a thing with Kim. Um, we decided not to do it this month because she has a lot going on and I was supposed to have surgery as I said so um, I wasn't even going to buy anything this month. But um, when I found out I wasn't having surgery, guess what I did? I went and bought stuff. I need to get my grandbabies. I have all their stuff in the basket and I need to get their stuff. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I need to get all their stuff so that I have it for Christmas and their birthdays. So, um, yeah. Because their birthdays, well, the one is in June and the other one's in the end of October. Um, so I will send their stuff out. Um, 
for them. And then I have Christmas stuff that I have um, that I want to send them for Christmas. So, and I want to make sure I get all that stuff in time because I think people are starting to think about that stuff, especially if you're ordering from Team Moon. Um, you want to make sure you have all your Christmas stuff in and, you know, and get your gifts here and there so you're not overloaded. Um, yeah, so I can't believe we're almost to another Christmas. It's, it's coming up fast and another Thanksgiving. It's going to be here before you all know it. So. And that means it's almost the end of the year again. It's like, oh my gosh, where did it go? Yeah, just wonder, you know. Hoping to get Shaver to go to a couple other different places to um, go and camp when it's cooler out. Um, yeah. Maybe just uh, do a um, hike camp kind of thing. There's a couple places we like to go, but I want it to make sure it's cooler out so he's not so hot and, and we're not hurting ourselves trying to uh, do it in the heat because that when we went over there to St. Pete we had a great time it's fun but it was hot I, I got sick so um, yeah it was just really too too hot Florida gets too hot sometimes the best thing to do is just just not do anything and stay inside so but you get tired of that and you want it you want to go out and do stuff you know but sometimes you just can't you know so now that's going to cool off a little bit, hopefully we'll have a great fall and be nice and just perfect so we can do stuff a little bit more. Anyways guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to um, do some more and then I'll come back and show you. I did a little bit. Um, I'm going to do over in here. These are all F's in here, so we'll do those. And I'm just going to put a little bit of music with this, so enjoy.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I just do a little bit at a time. And as you can see, I've done quite a bit. Um, I only showed you that one time, so this is my second time showing you. And I will get some more done. And if you guys are interested and you want to come with me while I do this, let me know down below and I will I'll bring you along more if you want more of them. I just didn't want to bore people too much, so I thought I'd do it in spurts here and there, and and then you see the progress that I have done. I do enjoy this. This is fun. Um, yeah, if there's anybody that has any tips on this, I would graciously, greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, so maybe you'll you'll start it if you are interested and think it's cool. So um, yeah. So anyways, guys, I'm going to end it. It's getting late, and, um, yeah, so I got other things I need to do. And I'm going to upload this video as one of them and, and get ready for for the next day, which isn't too much of anything. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be a Timu one. It's going to be here soon. Well between that and we're going fishing and camping so we'll have that video coming up soon too so y'all have a great rest of the week if i don't catch up with you the rest of the week and um yeah we're gonna have some good weather um hopefully for a little bit so stay tuned for more monkey sushi's out bye y'all